So UCD has developed a world-class knowledge base that can inform our food sector from farm to fork, supporting food security, food integrity, good health and nutrition and climate change adaptation. The UCD Institute of Food and Health brings researchers across UCD together who all have expertise in the area of food and health and together we conduct pioneering research to address these challenges in delivering a sustainable food system. To make changes to the food system, we need to look at it at a full systems level and we need to use technological advances across the food chain. The All Ireland Food Integrity Initiative, Food Eye, brings together all of this expertise across the island of Ireland and together we will work to consolidate our information, our expertise and work with stakeholders, with industry, NGOs and with the government. Food Eye will bring together researchers to ensure that we have translational research that spans from food production right through to public health. Food systems is when you're looking at food information right from where the food begins, you know, when you plant a seed in the ground or even when you prepare the soil, to a customer pulling a product in a, in a supermarket and right through then the consequence of the food on the health of the person and how that affects their lives. We could be looking at what's in the foods, you know, the composition of a seed or an animal that's fed the food or how the ingredients change when we put them together into foods and all the data on that comes together in sort of very complex ways. Really what's important for us in terms of food systems modelling is trying to model all that information in a way that helps us make better decisions. Trying to understand how we can make a shift to an environmentally more sustainable way of making food. There are so many layers. It's almost an impossible task at one level, but at the other level we have to try and move towards more sustainable and healthy lifestyles. That, that's what it's all about. We all know that we should be eating healthier and individuals find it very difficult to, to make changes and to make shifts in diets. Precision Nutrition is tailoring dietary advice to the individual. Essentially what we've found in the last few years is that individuals respond very differently to the same food and what might be good for one person is very different to response to another person. So we're trying to capture that at a scientific level. We've applied omics technologies such as metabolomics, genomics to study individuals and to study their response to diet. So for example we can measure small molecules such as metabolites and look at their responses to diets. We can predict how individuals are going to respond to, to diets. We can now even monitor individuals in real time when they're eating and how they're responding in glucose and harnessing all of that information together we can then give back advice to individuals that's better suited to their individual metabolism and to their better individual genetic makeup. Some of the main challenges within uh, sustainable food systems concern maintaining the safety and quality of foods for as long as possible to keep them within the food chain for as long as possible. So many of us are developing novel technologies and one of these is cold plasma technology. Cold plasma technology is essentially the fourth state of matter. So we're supplying energy to a gas and that breaks it down. We're getting reactive species and it is these reactive species that either interact with a food or with a surface and we can affect a decontamination or we can promote particular reactions. One of the advantages of cold plasma technology is that it is very flexible and it can be applied at multiple points along the food chain to achieve a kind of a decontamination effect to enhance microbiological safety and quality. For example, we can treat seeds and grains with cold plasma technology. If we treat the seeds, it can potentially lead to an improved plant growth performance. And if we treat the grains, we can potentially decontaminate the surface of the grains to enhance the microbiological safety and quality and remove harmful residues from the grains. Hyperspatch imaging is a new technology that can tell us about the chemical and the physical properties about the food. So it's like RGB images but it can generate the spectral fingerprints at each pixel. It enables the non-destructive analysis, which means the food after assessment will not be damaged, and it is fast to get the result and suitable for the real-time application in the food industry. One ongoing project we are working on is to detect microplastic contamination in the food. 
Our group specializes in the use of microalgae biotechnology for valorizing waste products uh, from agri-food sectors such as uh, dairy processing, brewery processing, as well as energy sectors such as anaerobic digestion. Valorization is the process of adding value to waste products. In the current food systems, you'll have dairy processing or breweries. They, they generate a lot of waste products. These waste products require substantial chemical treatment as well as energy intensive treatment before they can then be released back to the environment. What we want to do is to actually add value to that process, coming up with a more sustainable and green process to treat the waste, generating new products from the waste products themselves that can then be used in the food systems. And to do that, we use microalgae. Microalgae are single-celled microorganisms that grow in water. They capture carbon dioxide through photosynthesis just like any plants do. When they grow in water, they absorb nutrients from the water, removing those nutrients. What we want to do in our group is to have a controlled method of actually growing algae on waste products from dairy processing or from brewery processing, clean their wastewater, and then generate products such as omega-3 oil or protein that can then be used back in the dairy processing or in the breweries. We undertake research that tries to identify economically efficient and socially equitable transition pathways needed to meet very demanding environmental targets. And that includes the work using participatory approaches where we develop knowledge exchange between researchers and farmers and other uh, industry stakeholders. Well, it's really about how we accelerate the adoption of innovation, of technologies that are being developed through uh, the research community uh, here in, in University College Dublin. And we're really looking for those types of win-win innovations where both the economic performance can be enhanced along with environmental outcomes and that's really what we're seeking. Biocrop is an interdisciplinary project directly looking at enhancing uh, the environmental sustainability of crop production systems. Bio-based fertilizers, bio-based pesticides as alternatives to chemical inputs. To make crop production sustainable in Ireland, we have to change the practices we currently use. So here in UCD, we're developing technologies, genomics technology using DNA, a bit like cyber security to develop and detect uh, pathogens of crops and develop new crops. So we're using digital technologies and drone technologies to predict how well crops are performing in the field. And we're using biological technologies to replace chemicals at field level and to make them more sustainable. Crops can be very specific to particular microclimatic conditions, so we work with regional groups in a circular economy format to try and develop regionalised economies that use crops grown in those areas and waste products are derived from those crops and to make novel products from them. It benefits local communities in that you are developing the local economy, it's a circular economy, what's one person's waste is another person's raw material, so you're developing lots of smaller industries but each with jobs that are very particular to that region, that are really located in that region and embedded in that region. We lead actually in UCD on major international initiatives. We are the leaders of new EU initiatives which are aimed to develop wheat varieties adapted to marginalised land areas. So we're, we're there now, we're trialling those wheat varieties in Ireland and in other EU countries. We've developed biologicals that are adapted to Irish conditions. So those are biological organisms that can replace chemicals in agriculture. We have developed digital technologies here in UCD and on UCD farm coupled with drone technology and we're using those to predict how well crops are performing at field level. So our research project called Smart Grass was the first nationally funded project to focus on the use of multi-species swords or grasslands. Smart Grass is using a combination of species to try and address the needs of retaining productivity but also addressing many of the agri-environmental challenges associated with livestock farming. So we used a mixture of perennial ryegrass and timothy as two grasses, red and white clover as legume species and then chicory and plantain as forage herbs. So these swords were sown 
and we found that under much reduced nitrogen input conditions, so half or less than half the level of fertiliser nitrogen going into these, they retained the same level of productivity as the perennial ryegrass ward receiving 250 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year. We also found enhanced benefits for biodiversity, enhanced benefits for animal performance and health. Well, digital agriculture is quite a broad field, but essentially it's using digital technology to enhance the operational efficiency uh, of the agri-food sector. Sustainability and resilience are key elements of the EU's policy in relation to the agri-food sector. UCD is a global leader in agri-food research and contributes in a very significant way to Europe's capacity in terms of research and innovation in the agri-food domain. And here at UCD we have uh, one of the largest university-based digital agriculture research groups in Europe. This addresses the development of innovative uh, digital agriculture solutions for production agriculture. Solutions, for example, that ensure optimum utilisation of resources, minimal environmental impact and deliver the tools necessary to ensure that the agri-food system can deliver at the scale necessary to meet the needs of mankind.